Hello, I'm Pastor Amy Kinsley. At St. John's, we're excited to be celebrating home communion together during our Zoom watch parties starting this Sunday, August 9th at 9 a.m. Today, I want to offer you some tips for creating your own home altar, kind of like we did for Holy Week. The first thing you'll need to do is to find a space in your house that you can use as a table for the meal. Ideally, this should be a place that is free from clutter. There we go. Next, you'll need to find a piece of cloth or fabric that you can use as a sort of tablecloth to mark the space where you will share the meal. This is kind of like we do at Thanksgiving when we set the table for the occasion. Today, I'm going to be using one of the corporals that I borrowed from the sacristy at the church. If anyone from the altar guild is out there, know that I will put this back where I found it when I'm done. The next thing you'll need are some vessels to hold the meal. You can use an ordinary plate or cup that you have in your home, but you should take some care to think about what would signify the sacredness of the meal. So maybe I won't use my goofy coffee mug. This Lutheran chick mug might get a little bit closer, but I think I'll just use this plate and cup that again I borrowed from the sacristy at church. Finally, and most importantly, you'll want to gather the elements for your meal. If you're a baker, you might want to bake some bread that you will share uh, during this communion meal, either with your family or uh, for yourself. But you can use other things that you have in your home, either some roll or sliced bread. Even a tortilla could work. Gluten-free options are also acceptable, maybe a cracker or some bread made with a nut flour or some other kind of flour. If you're really churchy, you might even have some of those communion wafers lying around. You know who you are. Really, bread is anything that is baked from some type of flour, but please try to avoid cookies, pasta, and for God's sake, whole almonds are not bread. Now for the cup. It is true that the Bible doesn't really tell us what was in the cup, but, that just, but just that Jesus took the cup. But we know that Jesus and his disciples were sharing the Passover meal, so we assume that what was in Jesus's cup was some kind of grape-pressed product. And so for communion, you will need to find some wine, either red, white, or rosé, whichever color you prefer, or some grape juice to pour in your cup. To complete the setting of your home altar, you may wish to use other items that signify sacredness or help to create that sense of the holy. This could be a candle, it could be a cross, maybe a Bible, or some colored fabric to either lay across the altar table or around your space. I really hope that you can join us this Sunday at 9 a.m. on Zoom as we share the Eucharist together for the first time in nearly six months.